Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? It's me, Secret, or Sigrid. I have a product review for you guys today. Deco Art sent me this product about two weeks ago. And I've been meaning and really meaning to um, review them here. And I've played with them a bit, not too much, just a bit, I promise. <laughs> But I'm going to give you my honest opinion, no matter if they're sent to me or not. I'm not paid for this video. It's just a product review. Uh, Deco Arts just um, picked me out of a, a few random people to send um, this new product that will be released spring of 2017. It'll be released in stores, hopefully near you, if not online for sure. The product is a Deco Art Vintage Effect wash. It is a color wash paint and I have the color blue. Oh, it's gorgeous. And uh, berry, gray, black, white, and my favorite patina. Now let me flip these all upside down for you so you can get all the yummy colors in. Now I know that it is this is for wood, for definitely for wood. Uh, you can paint over like something that has existing paint on it also. And it's not exactly a stain because you don't wipe it away, but it gives this vintage effect. It gives an effect of a wash because I've tried it. Now, um, I've tried it on paper even though it's not for paper. Anything's possible with the stuff that we use in crafts, right? As long as it works and makes you happy. I mean, we're not archiving most of our stuff, right? So, it, if it makes you instantly happy and it makes you want to create, why not use it on paper? So, I did use some on paper. I've used some on wood. But, what I really, really want to do is paint my front door. That's what I really want to do. So, they've offered to send me um, enough paint to paint my front door. But that's in the future. But for right now, I just wanted to swatch these out for you guys and tell you that I actually, I actually am in love with them. There's no, pro they obviously have a set price, but that information is not given to myself, not yet, and you cannot find them online, not yet. But they will be released very soon to the public. <coughs> So we're going to double hand this. Let's double hand it. Alright, I say that's good enough. I have six paints, six different colors, and six different foam brushes. You know me, I usually don't separate colors with the brushes, but for something like this I'm going to clean off the surface. This is just a random piece of, I don't know, some kind of wood that I had hanging around. But I really, really want to swatch these out for you guys so you guys can see. So I want to get you closer. And this here is the patina. And that is one generous layer right there. And then you can go on top of these also with another color. But for right now, I really just want to swatch them out for you guys. And of course, off video, whatever's left on here, I am not going to wash it off. I'm actually going to find other things to wipe it on top of. So that there is patina. Gorgeous color. Like I'm hoping the camera's picking up on that. Yep, it sure is. And then let's do white. Oh, I love it. I love it. Beautiful. And, and like it says, it's a wash. An effect wash. 
It's not a wash, it's the effect of a wash. It's just beautiful. And then I have a few projects. As soon as I get my husband to cut the stuff that I need him to cut, but in, to be honest, it was his idea on the next project that I'm going to do. I don't know when, if it'll be the next video, next video in two weeks or three weeks, I'm not sure, maybe in the next few days. It's whenever he gets a moment of his spare time. Oh, look at that. To cut up the stuff that I need for my next project using this stuff. Look, you can go on top of the white. You see that? That's just beautiful. In a second, what I'm going to do is wipe through the bottom part, if it allows me to still. We'll see. And then we have, oh, that there was the color berry. This here is the color <clears throat> gray. It's just beautiful. It's really nice, and I should probably have gone with the green, but I didn't. And then the black here. One, two, three, four. One. Oh, I still need to do this one. Two, three, four. And the black. We're still working on the black. See what a gorgeous wash that is. Vintage wash effect. Beautiful. And then let's try the blue here. And that is blue. Okay. Can you guys still see? Yeah. Oh, that foam is ready to come right off, so I gotta hold that on. Let me move this over. It's very, very nice. Unfortunately, the brush I just used wasn't that good. I have one right here. There we go. It is a beautiful wash. So what I'm going to do is grab a clean one and go over the black go over the gray, go over the red, and I, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this because I don't have right next to me a cloth. But you see what a gorgeous wash that is? It'll make a lot of projects look like they have a vintage wash. I think they're beautiful. I really, really do. I'm just going to grab what I have on my brushes. Make sure my brushes, first of all, I mean, make sure my paints are nice and closed, just so that I can turn this around. Right? See what's left on my brush. I'm just going to go with the green. That's the berry. Going straight into the other colors. I hope you can see that. And this one here is um, patina. I'm going straight into the other colors. You still see the other colors coming through, which is awesome. It's gorgeous. Nice. This here will be black. You can still see the white coming through. You see the berry coming through. You see the blue coming through. The patina coming through. It's a wash. It's a wash effect. 
and that's what I'm just using with whatever's left over on this brush. Now I think this is the white. Yep. You still see all the other colors coming through on the bottom. And then we have the blue. I need to hold that. Yeah, it's ready to rip. If this color doesn't work well, then it, it's not the color, it is actually my paintbrush. There we go. Went right through nicely. Did we get all mall? One, two, three, four, five. Which color am I missing? Gray. Where is the gray? I'm going to have to re-dip into the gray. Is this the gray? Is this gray? Yes, I think I found the gray. Is that gray? No, that's not gray. This is the gray. Isn't that beautiful? That, that's gorgeous. I love that. So it's got 100% approval on me. I'm not being sponsored, not being paid. I was just sent these products from Deco Arts. I didn't ask for them. I thought they forgot about me. I haven't asked um, for materials from Deco Arts in over two years now. So. And I still have a lot of their stuff, and I still use a lot of their stuff, and I'm... Anyways, they just, they just randomly sent it to me, so I really appreciate that. But the actual product, I say go for it. I say go for it, purchase it as soon as it's available. This is eight full, eight fluid ounces. It goes a long way. They go on top of each other very nicely very 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 nicely and there's many many other techniques you can do with this stuff as a matter of fact let me grab a piece of paper let's see uh, here's my random piece of paper they look gorgeous on paper yes they're not meant for paper but we can play we can play as much as we want with our craft supplies and do what we want with our craft supplies it's isn't that beautiful? And that's the berry color. Let's do the blue. Isn't that beautiful? Let's do my favorite patina color. I'm going to need to leave myself some space because I'm going to run out of space if I don't. Recording! Some white. White on white. White on white. Let's see how. It still looks nice. Very nice. Very nice. And then let's do black. And then gray and we're done. And then you guys can go on with whatever you're doing. But yes, I'm going to definitely play with this stuff on paper, on wood. Many, many things. There is no limit to what you can do with your own art supplies. Not sure what color was on here, but I'm going to use it anyways. That's our gray. And there's our gray. Isn't that beautiful? And all the color still comes right through. I'm very, very loving these very much. Isn't that beautiful? Very, very, I love that. Look at that. And that's just on paper. That I'm going to have fun with. And I'm going to have fun with it on 
wood. I even like the way that looks because it kind of looks like a weaving pattern there, doesn't it? Okay, so yeah, keep your eye out for Deco Art Vintage Effect Wash Color Wash Paint. I don't know how many colors they are going to come out with, but I do have these six colors to share with you guys, and I really, really do like them. So there's your review on the this product. I love it. Okay, talk to you later.